Welcome back everyone, Crypto Patrick here. Today I'm going to go over some Ripple news and uh, what's going on with Ripple. It actually partnered up with a Chinese provider, Lian Lian of International, and this is to um, they basically to help partner to cross-border e-commerce payments between China, the U.S., and Europe. This is really big news, guys. And um, if you guys don't know what's going on with Ripple right now, the CEO of Ripple actually just did a uh, Yahoo Finance summit, and where he went over saying that they um, they're not worried about Ripple's price changing day to day. They're worried about two to five years. That means that Ripple is a long-term hold. You guys can kind of check it out real quick right Why? here. Is that normal? Did that blow your you. mind? I mean, is it true? What, what, listen to this right here, guys. The bottom line. I'm there. just going to play this quick little. You can, yeah, you can watch this. Chart of XRP that right. we can pull out. Pull it up. You know, I'll tell you the exact same thing. I tell people inside go. the company. Woo. Look at that. <laughs> listen to this. When I say inside the company, it's the exact same thing I would say outside the company. The price of XRP over three hours, over three days, over three weeks, or even three months. That is not success. That's not how I measure success. I think about success over the next three to five years. The, the, the problem we talk about these pre-funded accounts, the liquidity that the Bank of Andy wants to park at other banks. Listen to this part. There's over $20 trillion parked in pre-funded accounts around the world. This is dormant capital. We're solving a problem measured in the trillions of dollars. And if we can, if we can activate that asset, if we can make global commerce more efficient, there's an opportunity to drive a lot of velocity, a lot of demand, and a lot of volume across XRP. We are just at the starting line. I also said, you know, look, I think we've taken... So we're just at the starting line, guys. They're just getting more um, payment processors. There's a lot going on right now. Um, with you, They announced their new partnership today with the Chinese payment provider, Liam Liam International. This is on... This is actually yesterday, guys, a little bit late on the news here, not a couple days ago, actually. And um, if you look right here, Liam Liam will implement Ripple's blockchain solution, XCurrent, to materialize cross-border payments in and out of China. Ripple's business infrastructure keeps growing, and the company finds another partner to expand its reach in blockchain products. Liam Liam, a Hong, a Hong Kong-based international company, will use Ripple to accept payments from global institutions located outside of China and will allocate funds to China recipients. Ripple's technology will enable transfers and take place instantly at a much lower cost than previously available through transfer methods. So, I mean, this is really good, guys. They recently forged a partnership to add value to Ripple. And um, this is just big news, guys. And I, I think what Ripple's doing here is they're making partnerships with all these uh, different people using X Rapid, using X Current. We're seeing a lot of pr proof of use with MoneyGram. You know, we know that um, on Ripple, guys, it's at 79 cents right here. It went as low as. 67 cents and that wasn't that long ago you guys on on uh, february 2nd now we kind of um i've seen a little bit higher at 78 but i do think ripple will be you know a five to seven dollar currency if the market cap goes up it's at 396 right now i think it when the market cap starts going up to um 830 billion again maybe at the end of march early april when the tax season starts coming around I think we're going to make a slow, steady climb to about $600 billion in March and then about 800 again in January. I'm hoping that the market will get to about $1.5 to $2 trillion at the end of 2018. If that happens, we can easily see a $5 to $10 ripple, guys. So just keep that in mind right now. Um, there's a lot of good news with Ripple. You know, He was at the CEO Finance Summit speaking a lot. If you look on uh, Brad Garland's house Twitter, this is the CEO of Ripple. He said, um, consumer protection is needed, but banning underlying tech destroys all potential future innovation. This is like, they're talking about BitConnect here, guys. Take case-by-case -case approach with focus on risk and potential technology. Banning crypto would be as sensible as banning the internet, is what he said right there. And uh, we just opened the largest e-commerce network in the world. And um, that's basically for our network. With when they partnered with Liam Lian, we're excited to. Um, they'll be using X Current for faster remittances and cross-border payments. So this ba basically makes Ripple, you know, just way better, guys. There's a lot more stuff going on. I'll just read this article real quick to you. This is good news for all you guys watching my channel right now. If you guys like news videos, make sure to hit that like button. I do XRP giveaways too all the time. I'm gonna probably do one on this one. All you have to do is comment. If you like Bitcoin mining, check out my mining down below down below in the link in the description for bit club network and um yeah guys just leave me leave me a comment let's talk about this what do you guys think of ripple do you guys not like the banks are you into this technology do you think that we can make some good opportunity here we, we've seen ripple as high as 380 guys i mean it was 380 not that long ago if you look at the month 
I'm just going to show you the month high right here. Look at that, 370, 380, just about 380 right there. And then we saw this big dip off. I think we will shoot back up when this market cap, you know, jumps back. A lot of other things are down right now. You know, um, I think, you know, Stellar is a good competitor, maybe even to Ripple. But Ripple, it has a lot of, um, it's basically just get going through a lot of uh, proof of use. MoneyGram's using it. We're seeing all these partners come up. You know, um, Brad Garlinghouse is really, uh, he's like doing a lot on Twitter. You can kind of hear, see here, the online retail is a massive thing in China, only getting bigger. The fact that Chinese e-commerce market totaled $672 billion in 2017. The largest um, contributor is $4 trillion to the global e-commerce. And then in order to support the influx of global payments sent to Chinese e-commerce markets in space, Liam International, a leading Chinese money service company, licensed in Hong Kong with 150 million registered users has joined RippleNet to receive real-time cross-border remnants, invoice payments, and e-commerce payments. Liam will use XCurrent, Ripple settlement solution that offers end-to-end -end tracking to power. Liam joins Ripple's initial technology network of 100 financial institutions to provide faster, cheaper, and frictionless cross-border payments to customers. It says XCurrent powers cheaper and more efficient transactions, guys. I mean, this is basically um, there's a lot there's a lot of good news with this that's going on. They're gonna um, we look forward to make Ripple power payments flow between China and Ripple networks. Liam International is connects to China and Ripple members. Cross border payments related to China e-commerce reached a, one trillion dollars. There's just a huge market here, guys. You can kind of read through this if you want to go on Ripple.com. In addition to Liam, Liam, there's yet another step forward for Ripple's mission to further an Internet of Value by connecting. Powering cross-border payments between financial institutions and their customers on the globe. Ripple believes it can help money move the same way digital currency moves instantly. They're trying to do instant money here, guys. There's a lot of money to be made. Even if you're not into banks and cross-border payments, you know, our world is based on tech. And if we can make some money off a of good by holding this and then selling it in the future, then that's good too. I mean, there's a lot of good things to be had here. So um, this is some Ripple news. Just wanted to share with you guys. Make sure um, – if you guys like my videos, hit that uh, subscribe button. You know, let's uh, let's be friends. Um, that's it. That's about it, guys. If you guys want to look into BitClub Mining, look into BitClub Network. There's a link in the description, and I have a video showing you what it's all about. But just a quick little rundown. This is one of the best companies to mine Bitcoin. You have to send over Bitcoin Cash if you want to get into it. It's about six hundred dollars in Bitcoin Cash, a hundred dollar membership for life. But you can mine for life, guys. If you do this thousand day mining and you do a you can do zero from 100 repurchase, meaning you get more shares, and you can mine Bitcoin, Ethereum, and um, basically you can mine for life off this one investment. My friend made about my friend made about 20 Bitcoins. I mean, you guys can make a lot of money doing this. It's a no-brainer to print your own money. We know BitClub Network actually. If you guys wanted to see real quick, they actually mine consistently about you know 1.5 to 4 percent. This is on Blockchain.info of the world's hash rate, the biggest mining pools for Bitcoin of all the Bitcoin mine guys so get yourself into this program it's about a six hundred dollar investment and you won't regret it and then you can start getting paid in Bitcoin daily they also have some good referral programs and um, you basically can mine in perpetuity meaning you can mine for life off your original investment if you repurchase so as the difficulty of mining gets harder for Bitcoin you're actually repurchasing into more equipment and then uh, essentially you're joining a bigger pool so you guys are solving that problem. You're getting paid more Bitcoin. But the goal is to get up to this founder position, guys, because this is where you make the most money. But you can do it off this one or you can just re you can buy right into this. But, you know, my friend made about 20 Bitcoins doing this. I'm, I'm coming up on $2,000 in about three months of mining. So, I mean, very good program. And that's it, guys. That's my Ripple news. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more news. So subscribe and um, turn on those post notifications.